And when I was going around just recently, as in three weeks, talking to the people at the round tables, talking to chiefs of police, talking to fire chiefs in Hanover, in Salem, and they're telling us, you know what, this $30 million that came in, they did not have a seat at the table. They did not have an opportunity to find out where that money was going for. That's fundamentally broken. I applaud the fact that we're getting federal money in, but you know what? You have to get to the people that are needed the most. And I believe that that's, that's disjointed. And in talking to them, there is no um, a, a way to share information. So the process that the opioid is, is right now is broken. I believe we have to hold the farmers accountable. And if it's a like a, a, the uh, alcohol, a tobacco issue, I believe that's fine too. But you know what? When I'm talking to the people as recently as two weeks ago, they feel that the approach for the opioids in this state is broken. Congresswoman Custer, you have 30 seconds to respond. Well, you'd have to talk to Governor Sununu because the money will be distributed through him and Jeff Myers at, at Health and Human services and I'm glad that uh, Mr. Negron has started talking to people about this but I've been talking to people for five and a half years about this going around bringing local community organizations together because it takes coordination we need to build new facilities that's what we've done I brought federal funding for a brand new facility up in Bethlehem to make access to treatment in the North Country to Franklin access to treatment in the middle part of the state and um, I'm happy that you had your first round tables, but Custer. this takes a lot more work than that. Okay.